Well, all right, all right, all right. And welcome back to another exciting episode of the Planet Gen X podcast. I'm Sean. That over there is Brian. What's up? Holy cow, man. Uh, this thing with the, the uh, Assassin's Creed deal. Have you heard about that with the shadow, the Assassin's Creed shadow, uh, shadows or something? Uh, yeah, I don't remember the new franchise name, but yeah, it's supposed to be set in Japan. And uh, they got flack before it was even released right <laughs> for sure dude and i remember when like the the trailer came out what like three months ago or something like that something like and that and even yeah. when i saw the trailer and it came to showing the dude for the first time i was like something doesn't feel right here i'm not <laughs> like up on my japanese history but right. i'm pretty sure this isn't a thing and you know i'm no assassin's creed player i've never played one single game of assassin's creed can you believe that I played one. It was the Egyptian one. I don't even recall the name of it. I want to say it was Odyssey. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I have no idea. There are some of it, like the pirate one has caught my attention. I have Valhalla. Maybe I'll play it one day. Right. Um, but yeah, man, like it's getting a lot of flack. And this is Ubisoft, right? This is an Ubisoft game. And oh, dude, it's like they have really offended the Japanese big time over this thing because. Right. I mean, basically, so I came across Asmongold's video. Well, he, I just want to bring up the idea. If I recall correctly, like Italy was pissed at them once upon a time for one of their other Assassin's Creed. Uh, they are well known for historical inaccuracies in these games. Uh, and I guess the big takeaway is that they're supposed to be historical fictions, right? The, the idea is like we in the real world don't know the real history has been covered up by the shadow organization. And that's, that's kind of the premise behind most of the games. Yeah. Well, they talk about that in this and they also mention how Ubisoft says on one hand, they talk out one side of their mouth right. saying that. And now on the other soft, hand, right? <laughs> they talk about how it is historically accurate. Yeah. And so the big rub is too, that it all comes down to this one guy, Thomas Loxley. Mm -hmm. who's the only single source of this whole Yakuza, Yas, how do you say his name? Yasuki? I, I've heard mixed results. <laughs> I, I look at it and I think it's like Yasuke, like Sasuke, but that's because I was, you know, I've, I've watched Naruto. <laughs> right. Um, and it's just like Sasuke, but it's sped up to where it sounds like Sasuke. It's just uh, the way that things are pronounced over there. Um, but it could be Yasuke. Okay or something yeah but i mean ubisoft man they just say it seems like they just keep tripping up over themselves and this was if you watch asmund gold's video it's like clear that this was a huge like woke thing to do for them um well i mean it's asmund he he called you know everything he calls out is woke right Listen, I watched the video. It seems pretty cut and dry to me, too, man. I mean, like, especially the way it's its not his video. He's watching some other dude's video. I, f I wish I could reference it now. It's uh, I, I'm I just want to talk about <laughs> something I probably shouldn't. Uh, but yeah, uh, the woke right. Right. Uh, the Crowders, the Bryn Shapiro's, like all these pe people that call out like wokeness, the radical left and all this stuff. Um, I don't know. I, it's just like the other side of the coin to me, right? Because like everything they do is political. Everything they're bitching about, you know, they're doing the same things. Um, so I, I don't know the the woke. What do you mean they're stuff? doing the same things though? I don't. How, I I don't understand that. Well, I mean, it's they're bringing politics and everything, right? Who they're is? the ones that are bitching? It's like the the all the right crowd, right? The ones that are anti woke. They all want to bring in politics and everything, too. They just say it's not political and think it's fine. I don't know, man. I mean, I've always said that it's it's about a matter of balance. And one side's gone over the deep end. Like, there should be a matter of content. And you can go so far one side where it's just overcompensation. I don't think that's a sides thing. I think that's like a... Uh, an industry thing. I think it's like a, a movement in the industry by the people and the uh, uh, usually left space, right? Whatever. Um, but it's, it's kind of like 
the people that are getting the networking to get their projects approved, stuff like that. I think that's that's what's going on. But at the same time, uh, you know, Stephen King's on his way out. Who who knows how much longer George Martin has? And you know, writers are not really a thing anymore. They are, but I mean, like, you know, no, if, not good ones. It doesn't seem anyway. Right? Yeah. Well, I mean, there are a couple, but. You know, if you're in a writer's room, you're not writing a novel, right? Right. Yeah, no doubt. Well, I mean, you know, this just this is a trend that we've had to deal with for the last few years, and it's a trend that seems like it's it's unraveling because the the all these corporations. You hear Microsoft recently fired their DEI team, so yep. <clears throat> a lot of companies are following suit. Man, they're they're realizing that this is a financial disaster, and <laughs> I, I don't know if Disney will be anyone. If they'll ever give it up or, uh, you know, they'll be the last one to fall. I don't know. I don't know either. But I can you know, tell you, but they're, they're both sides to me. Disney is like evil empire and LGBTQ space, right? It's like kind of yeah. overhanging everything. Uh, well, they, I mean, I can remember back in the 80s, they used to get a lot of flack for being anti Semitic. Right. You know, and, yeah. and now, I, uh, it just doesn't even make sense. You, if you say that nowadays, it would be actually, they <laughs> actually, it probably would be nowadays. It would probably be okay. Right. It's just crazy in and of itself. But like, so Ubisoft has also got another game, which is Outlaws. And you know, I've been talking about this game. I, everything I've seen about this game makes me happy as shit. I am right. just thoroughly can't, I can't wait for it to come out. Now, I have some issues with it, right? Obviously, you know, it's it's uh, it's pretty expensive. Yeah. Like if you want to get everything that that's out there, I mean, you can get in for seventy dollars, but if you want all the extra goodies and stuff, you're looking at what about one hundred twenty, one hundred thirty dollars, something like that. Something like that. And it's <clears> a question <throat> of what goodies you get too, right? Because like sometimes yeah. it's like a map, sometimes it's uh, DLC, sometimes it's the soundtrack. It's like what are you getting for that money, right? Right. Well, I mean, so. All I hear lately, dude, is, you know, like how how crappy Outlaws is. Right. And I'm like, man, this sure is a lot of a lot of hate for people who, have, you know, really have no idea. Probably most of these people have never played the game. I know that people get access to certain things. Like, for instance, this guy who happened to say something good about the game, which I was glad to see. So that's why, you know, I've, I've got this. Uh, Andy reloads, and I've seen some of his stuff before. You know, I think we did a um, review on one of his videos, right? We, yeah, that's right. Thank you. I knew I'd remembered his name from somewhere. I, I like a lot of his stuff, but um, you know, it's like refreshing to see a guy who's actually played the game, right? Yeah. Who's not uh, paid or sponsored by Ubisoft, and given his, hope oh, we assume honest, honest opinion, right? Right, and. Yeah. He's saying the things that I can glean from what I've, you know, seen in videos. He's basically backing up what I thought, you know. Yeah. So I don't know, man. I think I think there's just like this whole trend towards just hating on. First of all, if it's Star Wars. Second of all, is it Ubisoft? Because that seems to be a big part of it too, man. Like mm -hmm. there's just instant Ubisoft hate, and I have, you know, I'm not, I'm not like such an entrenched gamer to where I have had like one company or the other, like I've been in their ecosystem so long that I can appreciate, you know, how bad they are, how good they are at what they do. Like, I think they all have their, their ups and downs, man. I don't think yeah. anybody's immune to that. Like right. I hear crap about blizzard all the time. And, you know, you, you would think back in the day they hung the moon, man. Right. But you know, <laughs> nowadays you hear, well, they're crap. They, you know, you hear like uh, Thor, their ex dev or whatever he was over there. Um, you know, he talks about just how crap it was. I know he was, I know he did like some security stuff over, you know, so I don't know if he right. did. I was actually, trying to remember what, what the title was. I think but he did work on some games though, yeah. for sure. Like when he started out, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, it's just like, I wonder if that's just most of it, you know, oh, they're saying it's Ubisoft. First of all, most of these people are really burnt out on the Disney Star Wars, not Star Wars, just Disney Star Wars. So I think this gets slapped with that label. I also think it gets slapped with, 
well, it doesn't have any lightsabers and it doesn't have any force right. power, you know, uh, space wizards, basically. I, um, I think that's an important thing to note about the game is the, the fact that you're supposed to be approaching it from the standpoint of being the scoundrel, the smart right. the rogue. Yes. Um, and so it, it is intrinsically stealth based in some areas. Right. Uh, yeah, it's got a whole thing about stealth in there. Yeah. Uh, so I don't right know. Here. I think you have to go into it with that mindset, you know, like when you would play a Splinter Cell game or whatever, you knew what you were getting into. Yeah. I was just pointing and, out in the video is why I mentioned stealth. This is right here in the video talking about he's hiding behind boxes and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, you know, and he was saying like it's not interactive either. You just like actually hiding behind the object. Yeah. Um, so a lot of the stuff I've seen I've really like. I've heard people complain about the graphics. I it, it looks fine to me. I mean, you know, it looks like maybe I'm Wars. simple. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. It, it looks like a Star Wars universe in the shots that I've seen. Yeah. Uh, and that's all I can ask for in anything Star Wars related, right? Right. To begin well, with. So when we first talked about this back in the day, I made the, I mean, like everybody was making the obvious observation that it seemed very female centric, you know? Right. And that's been backed up in a recent video I saw. And I just made a note. I think I mentioned it to y'all in discord, you know, um, that like the first scene, these, this, this, your character walks up on a, on a um, sand crawler. There's a jaw yeah. and a droid. And the, the jaw was female. The droid is female. Of course, you're female. And I mean, like, ordinarily, that wouldn't be a big deal. But it's just where we're at right now, where we know Disney's mind is at with Star yeah. Wars specifically, too. You know, I mean, it's just stuff kind of glares out at you. But because I knew all that in advance watching it this time, I'm like, you know, who the hell cares, man? I just really want to play a good Star Wars game. And I mean, that's what it should be about, right? Just playing the game. Um, I, I've i been playing the hell out of Sco Suicide Squad recently, and it got yeah. a really bad rap. It even yes, blew it up my, my 1080p monitor, which is sad <laughs> because it was beautiful on my right. 1080p monitor. Yeah, um, It was fun gameplay. The Unreal Engine, mm, beautiful on it. Um, but it got a bad rap. And I'm I'm still enjoying the hell out of it. But is what it? I was trying to get to is like the voice acting. I love the voice acting in it. Yeah. Uh, the actual gameplay of just like maneuvering around and playing in the world, fun. Um, I, I am almost through leveling my characters and approaching the end game, but I've had a blast with it, and I, I don't know. So you're kind of proving my point. Like, yeah. I think there's just too much instant hate before you've even laid hands on your game, and you're also trusting people you're listening to on YouTube who may probably have or have not played the game. You know, or may have some financial interest in, you know, playing it one way or the other, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly, man. I mean, there's a lot of, you know, shills out there for all the different types of genres of YouTube out there. You yeah. know, um, there's somebody getting their their ad dollars and you know i mean like i i'm not saying that is a bad thing i'm just saying you know you need to take everything you watch with a grain of salt man just make wait and make your choice i i'm so bummed out by fans lately man y'all gotta give give things a break a little bit because you just judge before you've even seen us a, a, a bit of the you know the show you know you see a trailer and instantly you've judged it Oh, that looks yeah. like crap. You know, Time Bandits recently got that. That was the most recent one. Now, I've got two episodes to watch Time Bandits. I would love to have had something to talk about today. But, right. you know, I just haven't gotten to it yet. And, uh, you know, I'm going in with the attitude that it's going to be good, that I'm going to enjoy it. And if I don't, I don't. But then I'll come to that when I get there. You know, I'm not going to pre-anticipate, you know, hating the damn thing. Why would I want to do that? It seems I'm so I'm still building up to that level personally, like to be ready to 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 watch it and not invoke the original right yeah yeah i mean like i, I mean i guess there'll be some of that sure that, that's kind of hard not to do but i mean i just don't i'm just sick of all the negativity man like it's bad enough as it is you know uh let's just try and make judgments on actual uh empirical data where you know the that you're 
you're playing the game yourself, preferably, and you're making right. your judgment based on that rather than just what your favorite YouTuber says. You know? Um, well, I mean, that, that's the era of influencers too, right? Like, people are going to go to these people to get their idea on whether or not they should play a game because they don't want to waste money. Um, so you, you find some kind of a taste maker, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's on one scene here, man, where he's talking about the uh, actual uh, out in space gameplay and stuff. Right. And he says it's just like squadrons, yeah. which was a great, it is still is a great game, but I mean, like it's losing, it's losing its player base fast. Yeah. And uh, I don't imagine it'll be around much longer, but that's cool because a lot of people love that. And I mean, you know, it's the closest thing to X-Wing we've had in years for a modern game. And uh, yeah, so I'm down with the the, the uh, deep space mechanics. Plus, you can go into the planet from outer space. Some um, uh, Starfield couldn't do. Right. This To me, when I first saw this, dude, I thought, okay, this is everything I thought Starfield was going to be. Now, granted, I don't expect this uh, outlaws to have, you know, like 100, 150, you know, or more planets. You know, yeah. I get it. It's not going to be, but it's still, it's going to be like on a grand theft auto level. Here and there. Yeah. Right. I mean, you know, it's going to be that, it's going to be that open world. You know, it's going to be like each planet, there's probably four or five. I think I've heard that much. So you think of the the space, the size of each planet. I heard people poo pooing that, oh, you, it only takes five minutes on speeder to get across the planet. Or some, you know, something like that. So what? Five minutes on speeder is a long time if you're yeah. on the speeder, right? Yeah. <laughs> so what? So you got multiple planets, man. It's not like you just, I don't know, dude. Like, I'm so thrilled with games like, you know, Hogwarts Legacy, where they got this giant map, but you are it's just that map. It's huge, but it's just that map. So it's, I imagine that on the level of having four or five or six planets. And I'm like, whoa, dude. I mean, like, that's a lot. It really yeah. is. So, you know, I don't know. Just try, please, people. Keep an open mind. Try and give the, the fandom some positivity as far as these reactions, man. Some of these companies actually work hard for what they do and aren't mired and just grabbing the dollar and, uh, you know, trying to further an agenda. Like, there are some actual hardworking companies out there. Well, there they deserve are people a chance. that make up those companies, right? But yeah, sometimes man. the companies are the ones making exactly. the decisions. Exactly. Yeah. Um, it's not in the, always in the hands of the good, man. Right. For sure. So listen, and, uh, before we wrap this show up, is there anything you want to hit on? Because we're getting kind of long. Uh, yeah. I, another game I caught, Sunless Skies. If you were a fan of Sunless Skis, of Sunless Skis, Sunless, Sunless Skis, skis. <laughs> uh, check it out. Uh, it's not the same. It's a little bit less dangerously. Still has those roguelike elements. Uh, awesome soundscape uh, and fun to play. Uh, if you like Skis, check it out. What was, uh, the game, what was it called again? Sunless Skies. Sunless skies. Okay, because yeah. I, I think you call about three different things here. <laughs> well, yeah, the, the original game was Sunless Seas. Oh, okay. I, I, I keep trying to say skis when I try to say it. Skies, I got you. So yeah. the new one, Sunless Skies. Yeah. Got you, got you. Got uh, you. And that was another freebie from Epic, if I recall correctly. Right on. Yeah, I'm loving the Epic stuff, man. Always good stuff. Yeah. So uh, y'all make sure to go check out Andy Reloads for sure, you know, and also, I mean, you know, the Asmund Gold doesn't need any help from me. Right. That dude's got <laughs> millions of people watching him, but yeah, check him out too. Cause You've never heard of like, Asmund Gold. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, it was a good reaction video. It really was. So, um, good stuff, y'all. So, yeah, stay tuned. Hopefully, we'll have some uh, stuff on the um, Time Bandits real soon for you. Man, I saw Snowpiercer is back with fourth season two. I can't wait. I've got a couple episodes of that to watch. I, didn't, I thought it was canceled. I had no idea. I did too. Yeah, so that was out of the blue. Um, so great stuff, y'all. So remember, as always, be excellent to each other. And listen, if you made it this far, please hit the subscribe button. Give us a like. It costs yeah, you nothing. Please. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Remember, as always, Brian and I will see you on the flip side. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>